Good evening. My name is Jack Sherman, and with me tonight is fellow Board of Finance members Lori Santos, John Olson, Leo Saunders, and Kirk Carr. Um, we're missing three members tonight, uh, Doug Trainer, Ona Natal, and James Kelly Welsh, all with legitimate excuses. So, the purpose of this public hearing is to give taxpayers an opportunity to voice their opinions on the town budget. After the budget failed to pass on May 10th, it was, the town budget was reduced by $149,769. Following the May 24th defeat, the budget was reduced by another $30,000. The figure before you tonight is $17,507,690. This is an increase of the current budget. This is an increase of 1.24% over the current budget. Here are the guidelines for the speakers tonight. Please sign in with your name and address and identify yourself before, before speaking. Keep your remarks concise and to the point. Please be courteous and respectful of all speakers. Please come forward now and sign in to speak on the town budget. And thank you. Bruce. the first selectman and just to bring everybody up to date the board of selectmen reached out to all department heads and town agencies and we requested that they once again review their budgets and get back to us with their best efforts to reduce their budgets and they have done so and we thank them very much I want to thank them for this and I applaud them for their dedication and service to our town as many of you probably know, a good percentage of our employees are actually residents of this town as well, and they care deeply about this town. They now have made sacrifices three times going through this year's budget process. It is both very painful and an extraordinary effort on their part. And we do not want to get to the point where we have to cut services. Thank you. Okay, my name is Michael Hughes. I'm at Acre of the Road in Clinton. I'm, I'm a little concerned about the taxes. Uh, always seem to be going up. Uh, my concern is I don't think the board, the, the board of finance or the first select, selectman, if anybody knows how much the state is going to cut the budget. And you're asking the people, you're setting the budget without knowing how much deep cut that is. The last time I checked, it could be around four or five million dollars. So my 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 concern is, why aren't we cutting the budget that much to break even? I know it's a lot of money, but a thirty thousand dollars, a hundred seventy-four thousand dollar cut is is not enough, obviously. Okay, now. When I look at the mill rating, it's going to be 27.14 right now. It's going to potentially go up to 29 or up to 30s. Right, that's a lot of money that's going to cost people to, to live in this town. So, does anybody, can anybody, can you answer that question, sir, about what the state's going to give us and how much cut it is? Uh, this is not an appropriate time to respond. This is a hearing for you to state your concerns on me. Well, it, well it, it, it's an appropriate time, in my opinion, sir, but what I'm saying is all physical responsibility, you should take that into consideration. And it doesn't like you all, it doesn't like you are. Because I came and talked to the uh, finance manager in person a couple weeks ago, and she said that we didn't know, that was you, right? Correct. We did not know what it was going to be for a while. Understood. Well. Don't pass the budget till you know. And then she said, well, you have to make some serious cuts. 
I said, well, that's not our problem. You should put more pressure on the state to find out where we're at. You're asking us to pass a budget without knowing all the facts. And that's why I voted no. Okay? We've heard nothing from our representatives. Okay, well, that's fine. You need to go out and ask them. Where is the, where is the senator, senator here in the rep state representative? I've been, I've been, I've been emailing them. Come on, guys. I mean, why aren't we doing that? And to cut the budget 30000 in the last meeting was, I, I know it's tough. I know people live here. I don't want anybody to lose their job either. I voted yes for the uh, capital projects. I'm in construction all my life, and I know if you don't keep your buildings up, it, it comes back to get you. But 7.1 million or whatever it was, there's probably a lot of fat in it. You know, maybe there is, maybe there not. But, you know, that, that probably could have been cut, but I voted for it. I didn't vote for the other two because I didn't know where we're at. And I don't know why I expect people to do that. So my suggestion is you find out what we're, what, 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 how big cut are we going to get from the state? And let the people know. So, you guys don't know yet? You're not going to know? Sir? I'll talk to you after the meeting. Afterwards. Afterwards? After yeah. Okay. All right. That's what I have to say. Thank, Thank you. you. question of the Board of Finance? Yeah, the mm -hmm. Well, I'm just... I don't have any questions. <coughs> well, this, this is an, a question that's directly... I've reached out to them. They don't have an answer. Um, Bruce had... Uh, Carol Walter... I know most of them. Had asked each department head to come up with an appropriate cut, a cut that they felt was appropriate for their department, and the departments offered up thirty-three thousand dollars, ten percent more than you requested, which to me would indicate a willingness to cooperate and move in an appropriate direction, and you returned some of that money. I have no understanding of why you would do that. These were voluntarily compliant um, cuts that these departments were willing to offer up. Why would you put that back into the budget? I have, I have read a lot of minutes of a lot of budget procedures, and I don't know of another Board of Finance where, you're, where they go and add money in after the Board of Selectmen has determined that it is available to be removed. And I'm referring back to um, our first discussion of the budget when we discussed at length the needs and the concerns of the town, the safety of the town, the health of the town, the well-being of the town. And we made our cuts. And one specific incident I can think of, you added a, a new employee back in to the tune of $60,000. A new employee, someone who had not, a position that had never been in the budget before. How can the Board of Finance do that in this economic environment? And I understand that well, the vote thank, on thank that you, is Carol. seven to one. Thank you, Carol. I will talk to you afterwards also. Well, I, I mean, I, mean, I, I know no what additional. happened. There I've seen no that. There was no new employee added. There was no new employee added. But yeah, there is an employee at it. Look, All right. If, if it comes you, down to this, if thank it you. comes down to the, and I'm a member of the public. Yeah. Um, if it comes down to it, and you and we wind up in this discussion phase again, I am truly hoping that the entire board of finance comes to the selectmen's meeting and hears the discussion that we have because I think that was a big hole in your, in your in the budgetary process, then not one of you was at our meeting to understand the discussion that we went on to the that. That that was was one. The last meeting with three of us there. Well, Thank it's... you. Anybody else? Okay. 
Thank you very much. Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Please declare a second. Second. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll have we have a meeting in second. Okay, we're going to review and finalize the town budget. Okay, we got here a motion to uh, Kirk and Murray. Well, single motions. Take a motion to see Kirk and Murray. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay, Kirk seated. Any motion to see Murray? No, thank you. No, votes for both. Thank you. Okay. So, any discussion about uh, tonight? Do we have a motion? I make a motion to uh, send, send to a referendum of the town budget seventeen million five hundred seven thousand six hundred ninety dollars. Uh, do I hear a second? Any discussion? I'm sorry, did you read that, that amount again? Seventeen million five oh seven six ninety. Nine nine zero. Okay, yeah. good. Any discussion, Kirk? One point two four percent increase over last year. Correct. Right. Nine point nine percent increase in the mill rate. The deal with a budget is not, in front of us. Not in the mill rate. Not in the mill rate. The voters spoke last week on the Okay. Any any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay. Pass this four to one. Motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Thank you very much. See you.